All right, thanks so much, Adam. Well, here at CW 39, we are shining a light on our very own entertainment segment today. And we're so excited yes. about it. CW 39's Brad Gilmore interviews the cast of FUBAR about a new Arnold Schwarzenegger action comedy series as he introduces us to the CW 39's spotlight. Take a look. Arnold Schwarzenegger is back, but for the first time in a Netflix television series called FUBAR, and we got a chance to put the cast in the spotlight. How did you build that chemistry with Arnold? Did you take time offset to try to get to know each other to have that great back and forth? Uh, what I did was I saw Arnold was a fan of chess. So I would ask him to play chess and he kept saying, yeah, sometime, when I get some time. <laughs> so it was one day on lunch, I burst into his trailer with my chess board to play Arnold and I cooked him. And if you don't know what cooked means, that means I whooped him real bad. So I let Arnold know I was the greatest chess player that ever was on the set of FUBAR. And from there, we've been boys ever since. But when you talk about chemistry, Travis and Fortune, the two of you with the, with the one-liners, the comedy, was that all in the script or was that a lot of improv that y'all would kind of fire back and forth with? Uh, a lot of it was in the script, but then we would add like the fist bumps or the looks or the, the hitting or stuff like that. And then occasionally we would like go funny. we'd go off script a little bit. They would they would give us some freedom. Everybody wants to play. I feel like this set, the environment was really supportive in that way where all of us felt very free and uh, able to be spontaneous because the script was so good that that allows you more freedom to play so everyone was game and, and sometimes everybody being game arnold would improv that, first <laughs> and you had to be ready and not break <laughs> What would he bring? Like, is he, th is oh. he firing off jokes? Is he trying to prank you? What is Arnold well, doing? One was this. He's like, uh, something as Alabama Tick. That was the one he uh, had to keep in there. He's like, I'm keeping this one. Um, like, he's holding on like an Alabama Tick. Yeah, that one. We were like, what do you say? <laughs> what do you like say? an Alabama Tick. Like an Alabama Tick. We're like, uh -huh. Still don't know what you're saying. Still don't know. Try again? He would always yeah. say, it was always fun on set because he would, you know, they would be setting up the lighting. He goes, it's not a documentary about lighting. Let's go. No one cares about the pillows. It's not a documentary I, about I came pillows. Into a, I came into a scene where I ripped my shirt on the door and I had a hole in the middle of my sh shirt and he's like, keep going, it's fine. I go, I can't. <laughs> I have a hole in my shirt. <laughs> Milan, there's a lot of jargon that you're having to spit out. You know, there's a lot of a lot of heavy, heavy uh, baggage that you're having to have there with the script. Did, was that difficult for you at all to kind of remember all that jargon? Yes, very difficult. <laughs> Listen, it, the jargon was beyond belief. When we talk about comics, action figures, anime, I got that down pat because I'm a blurred. But as far as like talking about a Chinook helicopter, when I tell you how many times it took me to say that line, oh my goodness. What was it? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's a helicopter, and I think it's spelled C H I N O O K. Oh.